working to assist victims of every type of crime. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Mandy Mundy. She is Director of Education and Training for the Network of Vi Victim Assistance, or NOVA. Thanks for being with us, Mandy. Thank you for having me here. When we talk about your organization, you reach out to adults and children who are victims of a variety of different types of crime. Talk to us a little bit about the people you serve. Absolutely. NOVA provides support services to victims of all types of violent crimes, men, women, children, adults, victims of sexual assault, burglaries, robberies, homicides, DUI crashes, internet crimes, any type of violent crime that occurs here in Bucks County, NOVA can provide support to those victims and family members through counseling, through legal advocacy, the criminal justice system can be a confusing process, through medical advocacy, we have a 24-hour hotline. We also work on the prevention side of things. We provide school-based prevention education programs on bullying and teasing and harassment, sexual harassment, sexting. Um, we also provide professional trainings, community programs to help raise the awareness about crime and victimization here in Bucks County. Last year, statistically, we served over 3,300 Bucks County residents and their family members who are victims of crime right here in our own community. And it's hard to think that that many people are reaching out for services. I mean, there, there may be many more that you could assist along the way. Those are just the people who've disclosed or reported the crime that's occurred to them. We know statistically less than 50% of sexual assault crimes, for example, are reported. So there's many more people out there who could benefit from the services. And are there costs for these services? No, all of NOVA services are free of charge. We're a private nonprofit agency. In addition to being free of charge, they're all confidential also. So let's get into some of the upcoming events that you have. And one is a, a, a screening of a movie called Out in the Silence. Uh, this is happening on April 13th, and the filmmakers will actually be here in Bucks County. They will. Joe Wilson and Dean Hammer are a gay couple from Washington, D.C., who are originally from Oil City, Pennsylvania, and published their wedding announcement in that hometown newspaper. And a mother of a gay teenager who was struggling with extreme harassment and ostracism contacted them, and they traveled back home to film this documentary about his coming out, about the struggles and the harassment he faces, about rural America and small towns and their values. And they made this documentary, and they're coming here to screen it and lead an open community discussion about providing support for all community members here in the county. We're really excited about it. We invite every person of all ages to come to this free event. And that, again, is a free event. It's happening on April 13th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Bucks County Community College. We'll have the chance to meet the filmmakers, ask our own questions as well. But you're having a candlelight tribute honoring all victims of crime, and this is happening on April 28th. Talk to us a little bit about what will happen at this event. The candlelight tribute is an annual event that NOVA hosts on the shores of Lake Luxembourg in Cork Creek Park to take the time to reflect, to remember, and to honor victims of crime here in Bucks County. It's an opportunity for victims to publicly speak out about what's happened to them, for um, allies and supporters of victims to um, stand shoulder to shoulder with people who've experienced crime here in Bucks County, a chance to um, hear some wonderful, beautiful music, and take the time to to reflect and, and again, honor victims of crime. And that is open to the public as well. Absolutely open to the public. We'll have some, some readings and some poems and some speeches. It's just a nice evening to come together. And again, that one is on April 28th, starting at 5.30 p.m. And quickly tell us a little bit about Pinwheels for Prevention. Pinwheels for Prevention will happen here in Bucks County in April for Child Abuse Awareness Month, in which we will plant a pinwheel garden in Bucks County with over 762 pinwheels representing the actual number of child abuse cases reported here in Bucks County last year. Just in Bucks County, child abuse, over 700. Those pinwheels will provide a visual representation of those child abuse cases. Thanks so much, Mandy. You're welcome. We've been talking with Mandy Mundy of NOVA. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.